This guy is a cupcake. Paulo Costa warns Kamzet Chimaev to wash his back after UFC pie altercation. Paulo Costa sent a warning to Chamzat Chimaev after their recent altercation at the UFC Pie. Speaking on Instagram Live, Costa claimed that he was training with former Strike Force champion Jake Shields while Boris waited to confront him. Boris Chinna recently took a dig at Chimaev, labeling him a gourmet Chechen and hailing his upcoming opponent Nate Diaz as a real gangster. Costa claims to have been confronted by Chimaev regarding his recent comments. While the situation did not escalate further, their differences are far from settled as far as Costa is concerned. The Brazilian also sent a sinister message to Boers, warning him to watch his back. When Kamzat Chimaev called Paulo Costa a chicken. Thankfully, the recent altercation between Kamzat Chimaev and Paulo Costa didn't escalate as Boers opted to walk away, not before mocking the Brazilian's loss to Israel Aid Sanya two years ago. At the time, Chamev did not shy away from taking a dig at Costa for his devastating loss to Adesanya at UFC 253. Boers was only two fights into his UFC career and was already eyeing a move up to middleweight to challenge the middleweight champion back in 2020. The last style bender had just defended his title against Costa via a spectacular TKO, followed by a humiliating dry hump gesture. Chamev slammed Boracina for being a chicken in the fight despite having a reputation for hard sparring. Boris said in a previous interview with Dan Hardy, I think Paulo Costa was scared in this fight against Adesanya at UFC 253. I don't know why people are scared to go into the cage and fight. In the gym, everybody is tough, hard sparring, but when it comes to the cage, they are being chicken. I don't understand this mentality. Paulo Costa believes he stole Cam's at Chamab's hype after UFC 279. I stole everything you had. UFC middleweight contender Paulo Costa believes he must fight Cam's at Chamab next. Just weeks after securing his last win, the Brazilian nearly got into another fight. Not in an official capacity, but in the UFC Performance Institute. During UFC 279 fight week, Costa got into a verbal altercation with Cam's at Chamab. Boers was set to headline the Las Vegas-based pay-per-view. However, it didn't happen. Chamev badly missed weight for his main event against Nate Diaz. As such, he was bumped down to the co-main event against Kevin Holland. While Tony Ferguson was bumped up, the Chechen fighter wound up winning the makeshift fight against Trailblazer by first-round submission. Following the contest, Chimave, along with his coach and Dana White, signaled that he would compete at middleweight moving forward. If that happens, Paulo Costa would love the first crack at Chamzet Chame. The Brazilian discussed the matchup in an interview on the MMA Hour with Ariel Helwani. There, Costa stated that he took Chimab's hype during fight week. Furthermore, the former title challenger also speculated that he's the reason his foe didn't make weight. Due to their rivalry, Costa believes that a clash with Chame is the fight to make. I think Chame is the fight to make. Yeah, stated Paulo Costa. I stole some of his hype, I stole his night of sleep, I stole his cap, I stole his main event fight, I stole everything. Chamev, you need to do something. Mother faster esker, I stole everything that you had. Everything that you had, I stole your night's sleep, I stole your way in, I stole everything. He continued, you were stupid, you're still crazy, I think I need to fight that guy, for sure. I'm the reason he missed weight, because he became so angry and so stressed, he gave up. He missed weight by eight pounds, almost nine. He gave up for sure. Paulo Costa. Kamzit Chimaev only fights small guys he can bully. I'm the biggest UFC middleweight. Paulo Costa doubts Kamzit Chimaev wants to fight him, mainly because of his size. Costa, 13 to two MMA, five to two UFC, was involved in an altercation with Chimaev at the UFC Performance Institute earlier during UFC 279 fight week, where Chimaev had to be held back by his team. Chimaev, 11-0 MMA, 5-0 UFC, dismissed a potential fight with Costa, and the Brazilian accused Boers of only fighting smaller guys, referring to his last win over Gilbert Burns at UFC 273. I know you just want to fight small guys, short guys, shy guys like Burns, Costa told the McLeif. Guys who you can beat and be a bully. But I'm not. I'm a big one. I'm the biggest middleweight in the UFC so you cannot bully me. When you show up, I will be here. Ready for you because you are a gourmet Chechen. You are a fake gangster so that's it. I know this guy doesn't want this fight. 
you will try and fight somebody else who has no grappling, no jujitsu, no wrestling. I have nothing more to say about that guy. I'm fresh, I can fight him with just one hand because it's broken, but I don't care man. Costa has one fight remaining on his UFC contract. He's open to Chami, who meets Nate Diaz in Saturday's UFC 279 headliner at T-Mobile Arena. But not Chami, Costa has other options in mind. We have Robert Whittaker. He's a great fight, Costa said. Chami would be good because I'd like to beat his ass. But we have a couple of nice fights coming up. He continued, I have my business to do with Israel, Adesanya, and I will face him very soon. But Chemave, you don't need to call somebody to help you. Just me and you. I know, you're scared. So shut up and do your thing. Call to fight these shorter guys because you can't handle me. Paulo Costa believes Kamzat Chemave is avoiding a fight with him. He just wants to fight guys with no wrestling. UFC middleweight contender Paulo Costa believes Kamzat Chemave is avoiding him. The Eraser is fresh off his victory over Luke Rockhold at UFC 278 last month. While he just fought last month, the 31-year-old nearly got into another fight last week. While in town for UFC 279, Costa got into an altercation with Kamzat Chemev. The two nearly got into a fight at the UFC PI before being pulled apart. Bors went on to defeat Kevin Holland by submission in the pay-per-view co-main event. However, the victory didn't come without controversy. Chemev wasn't even supposed to fight Holland on Saturday but the fight was made after the Chechen missed weight for his bout against Nate Diaz. Following UFC 279, Dana White stated that Chamzat Chamev will likely fight at 185 pounds moving forward. Despite that, Paulo Costa doesn't believe that he will fight the Chechen star in the future. In an interview on the MMA Hour with Ariel Helwani, the Brazilian blasted the welterweight contender. Costa stated that Chamev was avoiding a fight with him and also opined that he only fought smaller fighters who can't wrestle. I do like a fight with Chimev, stated Paulo Costa on the MMA Hour. But I don't think it'll happen, because he's avoiding fighting me, you know. He doesn't want to fight me, he just wants to fight guys smaller than him and guys who have no wrestling, have no takedown defense, have no power to have asterisk him up. He continued, he knows who I am, and even his coach and his manager don't want that fight. His guys want to fight Kevin Holland, a small guy, Gilbert Burns, and I appreciate those guys but he chooses whom he wants to fight. Paulo Costa has stated that he believes Kamzat Chamev doesn't want to fight him following their altercation last week. USC 279 has been and gone, and it's safe to say that it was one of the most dramatic UFC fight weeks in recent memory. In addition to the press conference being canceled due to a backstage scuffle, we also saw drama at the weigh-ins as Kamzat Chamev's failure to hit the mark led to the three main fights on the card being switched around. While Chamev did eventually manage to defeat Kevin Holland in the co-main event, many won't forget the tricky road that led him there, as well as the difficulties he caused for the promotion throughout. As well as that, though, we also witnessed a strange back and forth between Chamzat and Paulo Costa at the USC Performance Institute. It appeared as if Bors was picking a fight with the middleweight sensation, only to decide against an actual confrontation. Fans have since been discussing the idea of the pair squaring off in the future, but in Costa's mind, that isn't likely to happen. I do like a fight with Chimev, Costa said. But I don't think it'll happen, because he's avoiding fighting me, you know. He doesn't want to fight me, he just wants to fight guys smaller than him and guys who have no wrestling, have no takedown defense, has no power to if asterisk 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 him up. He knows who I am, and even his coach and his manager don't want that fight. His guys want to fight Kevin Holland, a small guy, Gilbert Burns, and I appreciate those guys, but he chooses who he wants to fight. The next step, Paulo Costa is coming off the back of a morale-boosting win over Luke Rockhold at UFC 278. And even though it wasn't his finest hour, it got him back in the win column, which is something the Brazilian sorely needed. He still hasn't committed to staying in the UFC beyond his current deal, but if he does, there's every chance he could climb back up the ladder at 185 pounds, so long as he remains focused. On the flip side, Kamzat Chimev is in a difficult position as he tries to figure out whether to stay at welterweight or make the move up to middleweight on a full-time basis. If the UFC wants to capitalize on this bizarre feud, this could be a fun contest that would teach us a lot about both men. 
Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy the video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification. Thanks for watching.